Okay, essentials at Menards. Uh, I emptied both of the shelves on these. There's 18 of these and 10 of these. And a dozen purple cans. And that's right. This is a must do when you buy a first property, guys. Must do. And of course, uh, everything over 50 bucks, if you can hold off, try to wait till 11% off at Menards because it really pays you back. And another tip for you guys, if you don't do it already, keep one or two extra knives. I'm going to take this out and stash it in my truck because when you lose one or break one and you're out at your land, these things are invaluable. It's one of them things that you don't know what you got till it's gone. So uh, this was already on sale, plus the 11% off. It's a good brand, Gerber. So one more stashed in the truck. All right, here we are, February 8th. Finally getting out for an hour again. Stayed in all day, it didn't feel too hot. But first priority, get this closed off and get the other entrance at least posted with signs and purple paint so this is all torn up and bent up and this post is rotted and tore out of the ground so I'm gonna uh, temporarily put two T posts in to hold that straight up and just so I can close this off to vehicular access and uh, that'll be one entrance down all right, not so bad. I had to trim some cedar limbs over there, pull them back out. I got a, a post in the middle holding it up. I had a spare lock and chain in the truck. And uh, I got a couple of fence posts over here. So this is now closed up. You know, I mean, if one of your neighbors wants in, it don't really matter what you put up, but Somebody with a truck or a four-wheeler or a tractor or whatever ain't gonna roll in here. Yeah, there we go. Good start, baby. Good start. All right. I got all kinds of purple paint. Guys, when you buy a property, in my opinion, this is a must-do. Okay. All the way down this fence line up by the road. There, you can see a little better in the sun, but you want to make it known to people that there's a new owner in town. And don't feel bad about it. Don't feel guilty about it. All you're doing is posting your own property. Okay, this is a real good way to attach barbed wire to trees or wooden posts. Uh, those are metal screws, okay? Inch and a half, I think. You pull your wire taut, you wrap it around there. Okay. All right, where are we? And you suck it in tight, and that'll hold it for a long time. All right, here's the front. I got the first fence post down, concrete leveled. All right, take a look here. Posted. It is now posted. And look at the fence line. There was two strands of barbed wire laying in the grass here with the old fence posts. So, uh, I got a start on it here. I got new posts in. I'm gonna salvage those two lines. And that's all you need. I mean, you're just keeping four wheelers out and trucks and stuff. So, uh, man, not a bad hour and a half, jeepers. It's all about consistency. I'll feel better once this is all closed up, but I already feel better just that I got it posted. Especially with antler shed season right now. All right, that's it for today, February 8th.